Right, everybody. Right, um, I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. I'm almost Connected. certain you guys can't hear anything. Well, see anything. But, ladies and gentlemen, well, 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 welcome to RTFM Radio. And today it's going to be me and maybe Kieran. I'm trying to see. Right, you, everybody. You may hear faces. Ah, Christ. I can hear myself. I can hear myself. Right, um, I can hear the I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. Good. I'm almost. Right, anyways. So you may be able to hear my Facebook, I'm really sorry about that, I'm going to quickly mute it, there we go, there we go, fixed it, there we go. I'm really sorry for the black screen, just trying to fix something, how about we just put my sexy face on, there we go, hello everybody. Alright, um, but yeah, today's show, I'm really sorry, it's been two hours late, I'm, I'm, oh, oh my god. But yeah, um. So it's been an amazing day. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you can understand why I am late to this show. I cannot close this stupid thing. Alright, I hope you understand why I am late to this show. It's been a difficult... How do I... Well, I'll leave it and I'll set up RTFM in a minute. Um... Now that works. Let me just remove this. Um... We'll leave that on screen for now and then I'll fix it. But um, basically, today, well, as you guys, some of you may know, actually, from maybe from my Facebook or, or from our Facebook or from the uh, live stream um, two weeks ago at the LAN party that we had a special guest from America called Ryan. He's actually my cousin, and I had my other cousin, Aaron, and my uncle and auntie, of course, all around from America. We only see them every couple of years. It's, it's nice to see them because they're always uh, traveling because they're in the military, but... Um, so yeah, I had them over, we've had them around for a month, but they've been away for the last week, so, uh, seeing uh, other people, because you know they have more than one friends, um, uh, more than one friend, and um, we had them over today, and it was their last day, and I just wanted to see, spend the last uh, few hours with them, and you know, say goodbye before they go back to America, and I don't see them for a couple of years again. I hope you all understand, and um, yeah, so let's get on with this uh, today's episode, I'm just trying to make sure if Kieran's coming or not. Oh, hello, Geek Freak. There's still no picture. What do you mean, man? Do you, do you mean... Oh, there's nothing on the on the, the background. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll just... I'll fix that in a second for you. I'm just quickly making sure what's going on. I, uh... This show is a bit... Confused compared to last time. I'm really sorry. Um... Okay... Um, I'm not sure if any of you guys actually um, have actually looked yet, but on the YouTube channel for RTFM Radio, we have actually started, um, we actually began releasing videos about tech and sort of news. And the first one was uh, done by me, Dennis, um, and we began to talk about, uh, that one was about the uh, new iMac, which I think was quite a cool video. I've never actually done that sort of professional I, att I attempted to make it professional style video in my life, and I think it went pretty well. I mean, there's still some improvements to be made, but yeah, uh, Kieran's also working on one soon. Today, his PC unfortunately gave in. It actually, well, kind of gave in. His um, his Windows 7 was corrupt on his hard drive, so he had to quickly fix all of that, and I think he's finally fixed it, so he might be coming on in a minute. Um, but other than that, he was going to be doing a Watch Dogs video and review and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, other than that, we're missing Tom and Ewan today. I, the team right now is just, well, me and Kieran are done with college, but Ewan and Tom are still not done a week later, and, uh, they, they're letting us down, my friend. Oh, my goodness, we have 404 views on our pay, on the, uh, on the RTFM radio pay, uh, Twitch. This is awesome, guys. Um, but, yeah, Geek Freak, how are you doing today? While we, while we wait for Kieran, let's just, um, thing. Dennis? Why, but Artium Radio just went live. Artium Radio Lamp out of Twitch. You have the old title, apparently. According to Sam. Uh. Okay. Kiron, where are you? Who else is watching? How many? Of, uh, who's, the, who's watching the chat today? 
We've got Geek Freak on here. Hello, Geek Freak. Geek Freak is one of our regular viewers. Um... I'm really sorry guys, this is like a boring stream. Uh, I'm good. You. I am actually really, really good. I've got, I don't know if any of you have ever been to America, but a lot of their things are a lot bigger than ours. And uh, today, my cousin, he was he went to the American base, because you know, they've got a military base over here. And over there, they sell like American things. I'm just going to quickly go back on camera, and I'm going to show you what he gave me. We've all heard of Monster Energy. And he gave me, like you guys know this, like, Put it this way, I've got my microphone, this thing is pretty big, and my hand can't get all the way around it. And w let's say a normal monster a monster energy can is about this big. Yeah? Look at the American version. This thing is huge. This, I can't get my hand around it, look. This thing is massive! I'm gonna die if I drink this! And then he got me some some beef jerky and I got some Twinkies downstairs and some Lucky Charms and some other stuffs. Lots of stuff that's just going to make me fat, but... But yeah, I was really hoping today that I would have my cousin as a special guest, but then... Um, we were like, you know, all hanging out, having like a nice outdoor like, barbecue thing. And it was just, it was just a good evening. It was really fun. Um... Um, but yeah, is there anyone else? What have you been up to, Geek Freak? There's no video. What do you mean there's no video? I, I, I'm looking at the stream and I'm seeing video. Um, I'm seeing video, see? What, what do you mean? What do you mean, my friend? Um, let's put some music on in the background, shall we, to to make this sound uh, a little bit better. Nice. I'm seeing video. Actually, I can't tell See? how loud that is because I've got to come out my speakers. Um, what what do you mean? God, this what is really mean, bad. I'm really sorry, everybody. Oh God, now I can hear myself again. The video is fine. Oh, it must be my. Oh, okay. I. Kiron, where are you? I'm. Left on my own here. Stuck. In a hole. I'm just gonna die. Alright, I'll put something on screen. Uh, what are we gonna talk about today? I can talk about the new iMac if you guys haven't seen the video, but. There's always a lay on Twitch streams. Oh, yeah, there's always a delay, man. Unfortunately, but I guess that's just, just how it works. Wow, this music is bad. Right, um... Kieran, where you at? I am just... Lost. Okay, let's have a look at some news articles. Uh, right. Let's just get something going on here because I'm just stuck. What's this? Final Fantasy VIII on PC draws more game boosters from update. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay, let's talk about this, because I, I got an email about this the other day. 
Okay, so Diablo 3, everyone knows Diablo 3 has like an auction house and a lot of people um, in real life have spent a butt ton of money on this thing. Um, let me just quickly get a little image up on screen for you guys. Oh, Christ. What did I do? Where did my image go? No. Ah, damn it. Alright, anyways. So, Diablo 3 has a auction house in the game. But a lot of people were spending ridiculous amounts of in real life money. So, dollars or euros or pounds or whatever it is. To get uh, in-game items. For example, I heard that one person spent like 2,000 pounds just for a ring. As you can tell, this is pretty damn ridiculous. And, um... Blizzard had to do something, Blizzard uh, being the company that made this by the way, um, had to do something to kind of stop this from happening because it is just wrong, It, you know. Uh, so basically what they're doing, I believe, this is what they're doing at least, um, the auction house of Diablo 3 that allow players to sell items for in-game gold or real world money would close up would close up shop this week being the 24th of June. So in two days time actually, oh I'm getting messages from Kieran to see who's coming. That's why I just staying here to... Why by just donated to the stream? What? Sam just donated to the stream. You just donated a hefty amount of okay, I, I'm I'm I don't know if this is a hefty amount. But let me have a look, shall I? Hey pal. Hello Dennis. Well at least it's the first donation, I'm gonna be chuffed. Hello Kieran! Hello! Hello friend! You know who donated, right? Samuel, yes. And Indeed. You're sounding a bit like really close to your mic. Okay. How about now? Better. Now? That's better. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. I've got to remember my flipping PayPal. Oh, there we go. This is the part where he's donated like one, like one p or something. I think the minimum is like fifty p. I don't know. Really? I don't know. Googlemail.com. I don't think Sam would invest that much. <laughs> oh God. When he says he's do he's donated a hefty amount, it just makes it like even more. Wait. He told you. Well, he put it in the chat, didn't he? Oh, God, yeah. Are you streaming right now, by the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah the stream's live, man. I'm talking. And I'm talking to, um... Am I on? Hello, everyone. No? Okay, fine. I'm no watching to Geek okay. Freak and uh, Fiery Shoe, which is Samuel. But I'm just talking to him about the Diablo 3 um, auction house update. Oh, yeah? Uh, basically, they're removing the auction house from the game due to the fact that people are... I think it's due to the fact that people are spending ridiculous amounts of money. Uh, let me carry on reading quickly. Um... While the option to bid on, buy out, or list new auctions was disabled back on March the 18th, players still have until June 14th, to June 24th to retrieve any items or gold still lingering in the completed tab. In other words, you sold or bought an item via the auction house before March 18th, but still haven't picked it up or collected the payment, this is the last chance to do so. On June 24th, any gold items will be left sacrificed and banished to the effort. The removal of the auction house has been a long time coming. It was a controversial addition to the game when it released in 2012, and the game's director admitted that it's an implementation really hurt overall design of Diablo 3. Ooh, kill him. Well, so yeah, they're removing it because it's not great then, I guess. But, um, yes, Kiro, and what? Hello, you? Geek Freak. Hello, Geek Freak. Geek no, Freak I, no, he said hello to me, Dennis, right? Not you, okay, me. Okay, I'll just go cry then, you know, because... All right, so, uh... I didn't really dabble much in Diablo 3, I don't, it's not my kind of game, but I did play Diablo 2, and I have played a bit of Diablo 3, and Diablo 3 is cool. uh, it's good I with think mates. the whole idea of people spending, so what's the whole idea, has he, has they, have they like, invested too much money into it or something, I don't know, I don't keep up with this news. Donation from so Sam sorry. Brown, zero, one pence. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Oh, I thought it was I a limit. I told you. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna still count I it as our first this. ever bloody. I'm gonna still count it as my first ever donation. Uh, it's still currency at the end of the day. Currency. Doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's the thought the that FM radio it's fund. The thought. Uh, I'm really touched, Sam. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, After all that hate, and now he's just like, yeah, he should give his money now. He should give all of his <laughs> money. <laughs> Giving us everything he owns, man. Uh, okay, so. The original plan was I was going to review Watch Dogs. I can still do that, but the original plan was I was meant to make a video to do that. But since I've just had to like re I've literally had to reformat my computer. My entire computer is just fresh installed. So that's gonna be a bit difficult with the whole video thing. But we can still um, go over it. I'll just ask you some questions and whatever and uh Cause you you've played it, I haven't. I just wanna indeed. know things about it. Like I'm curious myself. 
Okay. Essentially, Watch Dogs, or Observe Canines, as uh, Ethan likes to call it, is a game where you walk around as a guy called Aiden Pierce, and the entire city is monitored extremely by uh, cameras and electronic devices by the government and stuff like that. Now, it sounds like a conspiracy sort of game, and it, to be fair, it kind of is, but this game is actually really fun. It's got a lot of bad reviews in terms of the technology used to uh, power it because it doesn't run very well on AMD hardware and oh, by God. very well I mean at all. <laughs> it's um, like at it's all? had so many issues. But after playing the game for quite a few times now, we're talking about three weeks now, I can safely say that I enjoy the game. Um, I don't, I can't give a full review on it because I haven't completed the game yet. But I can safely say that the game is more like a um, traffic light simulator because um, the fact you can walk past traffic lights and hack them and uh, basically change the way of traffic how it flows and cause cause many accidents. In fact, let me give you a let me give you a good screenshot I got on my Facebook of a Watch Dogs moment. Oh, now, yeah. um, what well, the one with the crash? Basically. Oh yeah, um, I love that. I love that. Can I send you? Can I send you it on? Where can I send you it? Uh, just uh, stick it in Steam. Oh, there, uh, there you go. What is it on Steam? Here you go. Very nice. Yep, it's on Steam. Wait, is that you? What? Oh yeah, yeah. Now I get it. Yeah, I was wondering. I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't Pete, is that me? Name. No, I mean your name. Oh yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah that's me. Yeah, All right, yeah, uh, let me stick that on the. Uh, stick that on the stream. Save image. I have two. Okay, images. so here, one thing comes up on the stream. Tell. I want what's on the stream. All right, go. It's on the stream. Okay, so here is a, del a delicious image of me causing many traffic violations in uh, Watch Dogs. As you can see, everyone is shocked because uh, the whole car explosion thing. But it's really good because the gameplay dynamics of the whole hacking idea. It's not just traffic lights you can hack. You can hack bollards. You can hack uh, cameras. You can hack people's phone calls. You can hack other people's devices. Um, I think you can hack. You can hack car alarms. You can hack th anything that's electronically controlled. Essentially, you can hack using your uh, handy phone that's basically rooted, um, as Tom would say. And essentially, you can use this to the gameplay's advantage. So, if police are chasing after you, which they will, they'll chase after you a lot. And they're a lot harder than GTA's police. You can't simply out uh, outrun them as well as you can in GTA. But uh, if you've got the police chasing after you, you could uh, say they're chasing behind you. You could activate the traffic lights in front of you, drive past the traffic lights, and any oncoming traffic will drive into the police. Because obviously the traffic lights have been hacked to go green. Things like this make this game very fun and very rewarding. And it's, it's such a simple game as well. But the fact that I can middle click my mouse button, go into my phone's options, and then play mini games that are actually fun. And I'm sitting there... I'm si Yes, yes, this is like... No, this isn't low graphics. This is like high. This is like high, high graphics. Um, to answer your, to answer your comment, Sam, this is high graphics. But this is uh, what you get for playing on a low resolution like me. I'm only playing on 1650 by 10. No, 1680 by 1050. That's not 1080p, but you know, whatever. You still have that? That's awesome. Yes, I am. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, basically, the game has cool gameplay. Elements, as I've said like a thousand times. The multiplayer, I haven't played much of it, I've played a bit. There's a few game modes in multiplayer, and one of them is uh, I'm dying to play, because one of them involves you uh, joining another player's game, but disguising as a normal civilian, so, and you have to stalk that other oh, yes. player and eventually hack him at some point. That's very and cool. that sounds really fun. That sounds really fun, and the fact you can blend in, like, oh, yeah. the, the other guy oh, yeah. isn't aware you're actually in his game. You can literally sneak into his game, and you have to you have to tail him and stalk him. And that sounds so cool, and that's that's something I wanted in a sort of free roam style game as this. But uh, yeah, the fact that I can load up my phone and play stupid things like mini games. Essentially, there's a there's a there's like a mini game option where you can sort of trip out in a way. Your, your character trips out and he faints, and next thing you know, you're in this dream world. But obviously, you select what dream world you want to play in, or uh, have the mini game in. I was playing this one where you could play as a spider bot, like a gigantic robotic mech spider. Oh, yes, and I'm I sitting there thinking, this. this has nothing to do with Watch Dogs, but I'm going <laughs> to play it anyway because it looks fun. And it was actually really fun. I spent like 20 minutes doing some menu, like running around as a spider bot destroying police, when it had nothing to do with the actual game story. It was like a side <laughs> mini game. And then at the end of it, it rewarded me very smoothly, but I, I felt like I actually had fun. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I had I played a mini game, which is not even part of the actual game. I played a mini game and I actually had fun. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. That's However, cool. for all the um, 
Oh, and another multiplayer game which is pretty fun is uh, this game actually allows people with mobile devices such as tablets and things to like actually play multiplayer on this game. The guy who has a tablet downloads an app that essentially allows them to uh, join your game and you join his game. But he obviously, because he's on a tablet, he can't actually play the game. However, he has control of the police force of the city from a top-down map view. And you, if you're playing the game, you have to avoid his police force. And I played it yesterday, and i got to say, it's pretty fun. And I was pretty impressed with the, the amount of control that the person on the tablet has. So we're talking actually like someone on a tablet device in real life can control the police force in your game. And I think that's really cool of Ubisoft to like think about the mobile crowd here, if that makes sense. I think that's pretty cool. That's very awesome. Um, there are there are some cons of this game. Uh, the fact that it's not optimised to AMD at all. Oh, yeah. Um, it's pretty demanding. The gameplay is pretty demanding. Graphics are pretty demanding. You can't you can't play this with a, with a crappy computer. Um, you're going to need a pretty beefy computer to play this game. But, yeah, other than that, it's about people who are out to get to you, it's about personal revenge, and it's also tied into the Assassin's Creed story. A little known fact, I don't know if anyone knew this in the stream, but uh, yeah, it's tied into the Assassin's Creed story. CTOS is actually briefly mentioned in Assassin's Creed Black Flag, CTOS being what the government uses to monitor you in the game story. Um, and you have to, obviously that's what you hack, but yeah, um, I thought that'd be pretty interesting. And also, the game also stinks of Assassin's Creed sometimes as well. Um, it's it's the gameplay mechanics. It's, it's almost like they were inspired by Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Like for instance, you can you can you can vault over things. You can do parkourish kind of things. You can do Assassin's Creed type takedowns. It's good. Very. Um, good. I don't know if the actual game characters related to Ezio or the Torre or anything like that. But um, either way, good game. Uh, still playing it so far, so I can't give it a proper review. But I am enjoying it so far. Um, I feel bad for the people on AMD, <coughs> Dennis. Um, but I'm yeah, I'm that's one it. To play it. So all good, all good. No comment. Xbox <laughs> ones aren't bad, dude. They're a flop. They're not bad. They're a flop, Dennis. What do you mean flop? They're a flop. They run like... every game that they have on their platform perfectly. Yeah, that's not many games. <laughs> Well, yeah, because it's new. <laughs> You're not going to like put all the other games on it. I know, but there's not many games out for the moment. But that's yeah, another subject. But that's fine. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not dissing it as a console. I want. I wanted to get it, but I think I'll stick with PC gaming. But yeah, Watch Dogs, good game. Enjoying play. it so far. Yeah, Watch Dogs, good game so far. Enjoying it. We'll give more reviews or gameplay videos later on on the RTFM channel once I can actually get a video out. Yeah, that, that'll be interesting. Um. And that's my uh, that's that's that topic finished. Dennis, have you got yours to talk about? I was talking about that uh, Diablo thing. Other than that, I haven't got a topic. <laughs> um. Well, what games do you have installed? What currently? Yes. Uh, what do you mean on Steam or just in general? Steam. Right, let's have a look. Cause I have nothing right now. Let's have a I'm not gonna lie, I have nothing. You've only just like you know resetting you. Yeah, my internet's like. <coughs> it has been lately, though, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, Virgin Outlast Media is on sale. Downplay. Outlast is on sale. Really? Oh, yeah. Got games. That, that, games. that game keep me up at night. That game is amazing. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, that game is cool. Cybertron is on sale. It's on sale. All right, I'm done. So, uh, have you have you explained where you and Tom are? Yes. Well, uh, I said it earlier, but I'm going to go more into data now. Um, they, these two, like, okay, Ewan's work rate. Is about two words per year. So him completing his IT work is going to take a very long time. And uh, this take a very long time today. In very long time to progress. Today. It's just no offense to any Asian people. <laughs> it's just stupid. Like Ewan's taking forever, and um, but Tom Tom is all right, but he gets distracted way too easily. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, to be fair, we all do, but then again, me and you were able to power it out easier. But them two are still getting on with their work at college when we were supposed to finish two weeks ago. No, three weeks ago, in fact. Um, but yeah, so they're getting on with that. That's why they're missing today's show, and they said that they'd be doing uh, college work. I know Tom is. I'm hoping Ewan is, because he's done it before where he says he's going to go do something he doesn't. So if he's done that again, then um... yeah. But to be fair, mm. to be fair, games are very 
enticing. No, he doesn't do games, um, he does other stupid stuff. What? He doesn't even game? Nope. Doesn't even waste his time gaming? Nope. What? Nope. What? He was like, he, he basically... Wow, there's a really loud plane going in my house. Um, So he was like, um, like, oh, okay, guys, I need to miss today's show because I've got family around. We call him, he's outside playing with his GoPro. <laughs> and we're like, and we're like, well, like, why can't you come on a show? And he's like, oh, because, because I, must, I just want to play with my GoPro. And I'm like... Uh, he's like, I'm um, like, does that have anything to do with it? He's like, okay, yeah, I'll make a review of it, a video review. He hasn't done that yet. Mm, I don't think that is, that is. I think what I'll be doing uh, next next Sunday for RTFM, I think it's either next Sunday or the Sunday after, is I'll be doing a unboxing and review of my new guitar. Oh, yes, yes, do it. So that, that'll be, that'll be interesting, channel. that'll be... I, I will be uh, streaming my camera and showing you guys everything and, and, and doing some guitar play. See uh, how can it we sounds. Record it live too. Yes. Like I mean, so you can stick it on the channel. Yes. That would be cool. But yeah, guys, uh, we're going to be using the YouTube channel a lot more now. We're going to be putting um, videos up there on a weekly basis. Um, not every day, just you know, every week, a bit of like news or a bit of an unboxing or something tech-related or gaming-related. Yeah, just you know, our spice in a channel, pretty much. And um, basically, whenever we can't. Like whenever we want to do something, but we can't because it's not stream day. Uh, we'll dump it on there. Yeah, and then we'll talk about it. We'll do like a little follow up of it on the stream as well. Like, um, I guess we could talk about this new iMac. Um, there's a lot yeah. of haters for Mac out there. Me being one. Well, I, no, I'm not a hater. I I like them, but I don't. I wouldn't buy one. I wouldn't buy one uh, unless they really were cheap. But nah, I I just no. Um, and then. Basically, they've released a new cheaper iMac, which is kind of new. What I mean by new is what do I mean? What I mean by kind of new is it's new because they've just released it, but it's the same as every other iMac, but with a worse processor and a 500 gigabyte hard drive rather than a terabyte compared to its um, next up in the line, if you get me. And then also the processor next up yep. in the line is 2.7 uh, gigahertz. But that's basically it, the only difference. But the, the difference in price is $200 and roughly £120. Um, so this makes it about 650 quid, which isn't too bad considering similar spec um, all-in-one PCs in, in this price range have roughly the same or a little bit better specs. So in my opinion, it, it's worth it, but at the same time, it's not. For someone like me, it's not because I, I prefer a bit more power in my machine, but... Um, if you were just wanting a media PC, you know, to have iTunes on it. Do you know how much RAM it has? A uh, eight, eight gigs. Okay, so it can still serve one of the most important purposes which a Mac can fulfil, which is being a production and media centre machine. Exactly. So I'd still get that because I'm just starting to get into music uh, engineering and, and mixing and production and stuff like that. I'd still get a Mac to do that because yeah. I think the Mac. So apparently, I, I I've uh, asked like. I've asked one, a well-known guitarist why he uses a Mac in a lot of his music productions, and he goes, there isn't really a specific reason why, but he, in his opinion, programs feel and run better on on a Mac, like yeah, music production programs. Though, they? Mm, they are good, and the fact it has 8 gigabytes of RAM, the RAM is very important for that kind of thing. Uh, CPU, not so much. So, yeah. gaming, I don't know, but... Production-based things, definitely, I'd still get it. I'd say, in fact, it's even more it's even more enticing now to get it. Yes. That's definitely that's definitely one of the most important points. But yeah, it's it's a nice. But other than that, um, I'm not sure whether to get. It, it looks cool. I've got to admit as well, they look really nice in an office or whatever it is that you're putting them in. That's the only thing that mm. I like. Mac uh, really, uh, Apple is it really win me with? What? Have you got like a picture of it at all? Yeah, I can. Bring, oh yeah, I've still got the Watchdogs on the thing. Sorry about that. Uh, iMac. It looks exactly the same as every other iMac. It's um, 21.5 inch display. It's, it's got the awesome kind of silver um, aluminium kind of look to it. It, it just it looks really nice, man. I just love how. Stuff oh works. no! What? It's not the. Uh, I like personally. I prefer the base tower ones, but. Oh no 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 no! It's an all-in-one, but that makes it easier. They're still cool as well. Yeah, but I, just, I, just, I don't know. I love I, like I love Mac screens. That's that's one thing I admit with me. I just love IPS. They have that special uh, patented technology with their uh, retina. screens, and they are yeah retina display. That's the yeah. one. That's I don't really know much about that. I've heard about it. Yeah. I don't even know what it does really, but I've heard yeah. it's good. I've Let's heard it's good. Let's quickly have a look because I've really I've forgotten. Um, 
Retina iMac. What does Retina do? Wait. What is Retina? Retina is Apple's trademark for display so sharp that the human eye is unable to distinguish between pixels at a typical viewing distance. So it's um, high pixel density? I don't know. I th yeah. yeah, I think it'd be high pixel density in that case. Yeah. But other than that, I don't know. It's how much is it again? Like now, roughly six hundred and fifty pounds. But seven hundred. Uh, that's still a bit. It is still. I got quite my high. machine right now. I got my machine right now for like six hundred. Yeah, but bear um, in mind it, it, there is the Apple logo on it. <laughs> I suppose it's good for an all-in-one PC. Yeah, especially that's another marketing value as well, and the Retina display also adds to it. And I don't know. It's stylish, dude. That's that's the thing. Indeed. Uh, I just love how thin their laptops are too. The MacBooks. Yeah, that, that, the, the Air. The MacBook Air, is oh, it? Oh, they're so thin. And, yeah, they're, they're great for businessman purposes. But yeah, we're going off track. We're getting into we're going into the Mac world, dude. Let's get out of here. Well, anyways, guys, let's get my money, let's Dennis. Get, Let's get a chat into this um, into this discussion. What do you guys think of Macs? Would you buy one if it, like would you buy this new cheaper Mac or would you uh, just stick with your PC? Oh yeah, bearing in mind, Kieran, if you spend an extra one hundred twenty pounds, you would get yourself a uh, a much more powerful Mac with a two hundred uh, with a two hundred uh, two point seven uh, gigahertz processor, which is better. So you know, it, it's all about whether or not you're willing to go the extra mile to get the much better kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I like Apple's. I like Apple's products. I like how they look. Mm. But that's the problem. I shouldn't like a machine for how it looks. I should like it no, for the actual that's specifications. The that's the thing. <laughs> and the specifications aren't that imp aren't that impressive in my opinion. Nope. Especially for the price to performance ratio. Um, I think. I'm not sure whether that's because they're using expensive components in there or whether they're just overcharging for the uh, brand and the price. Yes. Either way, I'm not too sure whether I'll get it or not. Nah. It's sometime in the future. I mean, after I get my guitar, there'll be, there'll be, I won't, I'll barely be able to like eat. <laughs> 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 like I'll have nothing left. I'll have nothing left. There'll be Just feed no on thermal paste. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. I'll be fe feeding <laughs> on cardboard. Yes, the the box. But that other came than that, exactly. Yes, yeah. yes. It doesn't even, it doesn't even come in a box. It's not even an unboxing. It's more like me holding up an object that looks like a guitar. Because this thing doesn't... The guitars don't come in boxes. Nah. Just saying. They get delivered. Yeah. So Ooh. how long are we streaming for today's episode, by the way? Today's episode will go on for... Well, we were saying this earlier, because there's only two of us. Usually four of us. It's half the time, yeah. Four of us usually goes for an, uh, two hours, and that's like just about making it. Whereas two of us, mm. we're thinking an hour to maybe an hour and a half max. That would be stretching it. Especially since we're not extremely prepared for today's show. Oh yeah, should we talk to them about? That's the an big interesting fact actually from Fire Issue. Hmm? Fire it's issue an interesting fact from Fire Issue. Oh, going back go. to the Max, is that I can't. Yeah, I, I can't really compare non-Mac computer specifications to a Mac spec because I think they run on different. They run on different architectures. Do they run on arch different architectures? Fire they, Issue. They, they, I don't they, remember. I might need to Google that one. The, Mac the processors is... aren't exactly the same though. No, 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 no. They, they use um, mobile, mobile processors. I think. That's it. They, they, they have, uh, like, the Mac, the, I was looking at one of the iMacs and it was the one of the expensive ones and it had a 750M in it. So, that, that GPU is a, a uh, laptop. Yeah, like, I've got the 870M in my laptop. So, my laptop. I don't know, it now. still feels like uh, the the... the, the it doesn't feel like the process is very powerful in that. It feels no. like it could be better. No. I don't know. Fire I don't like the, uh, gig, the clock speed. Oh, is that too what Kieran said? Or I, I, what I, I said? Because I know that they use mobile Probably stuff. both of us. Yeah, probably both of us. <laughs> I, d I highly doubt they use a mobile processor, Dennis. If, if they do, we've got a problem. I know they use a mobile GPU. I'll quickly Google I this. I know one. that. See, we should have done our research, but uh, right now we're just yeah, hating this show on that. Was, uh, um, really unprepared. It's just we wanted to get something. I've like just reformatted my computer, okay? Exactly. I can still see my exactly. big resolution. My resolution's still huge. Um, <laughs> Seriously. Oh, yeah, and also for the extra. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, no. It's definitely a mobile 
graphics card. I don't know about the processor though. The I processor just, doesn't feel very powerful to me. It just says so Intel I, Core i5. An i5. An i5 the, clocked at the, the, 2.4, the did you say? Oh, what? Yeah, the, the cheap, cheap one. one what? The cheap one is $1,100, which makes £650. But I'm looking on the store now, and it says £900. That's just weird. I hate the stupid conversion rates. No, 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 no. Convert. Look, let me do this. Look, $1,100 in pounds. But it's probably because they have to ship over here. Yeah, six hundred and forty-six pounds fifty-eight pence. What the hell? I don't like it. I don't like it. Mm 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 mm. -mm, -mm. You know what? You know what? I'm done. Good old conversion rates. Yeah, good old conversion rates. Bloody but on the topic of the uh, whole the whole Mac. Yeah, on the on the topic of the whole uh, Mac thing, I just want to close off by quid. saying that, yeah, <laughs> you the words have just been taken out of my mouth. I'm gonna remove like, that I was about stupid to spit video. them out, and you just shoved it. Um, lava like lava like <laughs> well, Mac. Lava just pizza. took a dump on Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, I was not expecting pizza. lava to come on just dump on Sam. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Okay, Answer. Sam. Sam, shots have been sh fired at you. H have you dodged them or have you taken them? That is the question. We, I need to put a chat up on screen so people can see this. Let, let me get this. At some point, you will have to. You put rude. <laughs> Sam. Pop out. Here we go. So uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Lava Extract once again for letting us use the mumble and yeah, all that yada yada. Yeah, let's use our mumble stuff. server. He's still uh, bad though. Ah, so. oh, crap. Well, I've got the chat up on the thing, but it, it, it's refreshed itself, so I can't see all the previous stuff on there. Oh, yeah. Well, that's just... That's good. That's, that's, uh... that's dandy. Right? Uh... What are you doing? But, uh, yeah, we're, we are... We are we are lacking on topic. <laughs> this is a really bad... Like, well, but there's but only two of us right now, so we wanted, we're kind we, of we, running we just on wanted, crutches. We just wanted a show. We didn't... We, we felt we felt bad leaving it out again, you know. Also, no, I do have a topic. I do have a topic. Oh, um, this him. will relate to you as well, Fire Shoe. I will be um, I will be redesigning a lot of the show's look for season two. Oh yeah. Well, is that was there? Oh, a yeah. season, is it a season two? Yeah, I will be uh, changing around and redesigning the look for season two. So we're talking. I'm still going to keep the orange and blue uh, color scheme because yeah. I think those colors con contrast very well Can't with each other. Sense. But I'm going to be making the. Uh, um, yeah, I'm going to be making the um, stream overlay a lot more cleaner because at the moment it's kind of a bit, un bit unorganized, a bit unpleasing to the eye. So I'm going to make that much cleaner. I've also improved the um, improved the profile picture and the cover display for Facebook as well, so it looks nicer. Um, yeah. Oh yes, of course. Good suggestion, Fire Shoe. Steam sale. Steam sale. Yes. Very cool. Uh. Uh, things like right cheap, now, there's Outlast. On the <laughs> I was speaking about this earlier. I was speaking about like Outlast only for three pounds seventy four and stuff. It, it's awesome, dude. I'm loving the Steam sales. The summer. St look, this is how you lose but all of your money. And there there are so many memes about the whole Steam sales thing, and I think I gotta agree. Like, I will probably be. I will probably be. But is it still on? Because I'll probably be purchasing something within the next day or two. What Season two, episode one: Reven v Revenge of the Kren attack. Didn't. <laughs> what? 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 Okay, Tom. Re I don't know. Tom Season two, just... episode one: Revenge of the Kren attack. Denise. What? <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> it's just Tom. Uh, I just. Yeah, I just can't even. <laughs> Me no. I don't. I just. I just. I... Please no copy Pastorino. No. I don't... Oh God. <laughs> I don't even I... season. Oh, I think he's referencing me. Yeah, he's referencing me. No one will get it, but yeah, he's referencing me. Okay. Basically, right. uh, see, the Steam sales are very known across the internet. Well, the gaming part of the internet anyway, because obviously games are mega cheap and you get mega deals, and games that are bad are cheaper, and games that are good are cheaper. Exactly. And um, people like Tom and well. Recently, we, me and Dennis, we purchased a game called Dino uh, Orion Dino Horde on, with the Steam sale, and you it was like one pound twenty. Like, um, you purchased it. Oh yeah, Tom. <laughs> Tom. Uh, Tom may have uh, <laughs> chipped in. 
<laughs> got about Chipped that. In. <laughs> Tom may have uh, donated some of his currency and provided it to me to get the game. And by that, I mean he outright gifted it to me because I'm cheap. Um, but yeah, we 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 to Tom fair, invested in that game for like what three quid. Yeah, Tom. Larval invested in a four pack of Orion Dino Horde, which is a pretty cool game as well. It's an indie game, it's in development, it's not it's finished yet, done. but it's a pretty cool game. Hmm. That was that was pretty cheap, £1.20 or something, was it, Tom? And it, it was provided with oh hours God. of fun. They've got Transformers Funs. 4 of Cybertron for £7.49, and I'm really tempted. Nobody cares about that franchise anymore. I like Transformers. No, everybody, Transformers, I remember playing Transformers 4th 1 4th of July, on everybody, 4th of Xbox. July, 4th of July! No, no. Yes, 4th of July, 4th of July, 4th of July. I isn't 4th of July, the, isn't 4th of July, like, a special day uh, in America? Yes, it's America's, like, Independence Day. Independence Day, yes. That's a good day to release a film. Uh, I'm, not on about, on about, I'm not on about the film, I'm on the about... The film is wicked, I don't give a crap. About, I love the way, like, he, <laughs> like the, the first time he sees an alien, he punches it in the face, like, welcome to Earth. That's that's a great welcome you got there, man. That's it. I remember playing Transformers, uh, the game, in 2007. I, I walked into Game Station, they had an Xbox there on display, and, like, I loved the sort of, like, it felt like a free-roaming game, and I'd sitting there just playing it for ages, and Dad, Dad was like, no, you got to go now, son, we're not going <laughs> to loiter around anymore in this shop. I was like, no, I'm about to kick Bumblebee's ass, or I'm about <laughs> to kick the Decepticon's ass. Yes. Um, yeah, it was a cool game, but now I'm not really interested in it because you know, modern games are crap. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Depends. Some games are cool, well, but I don't. You're like sitting there playing egg. Watch Dogs. Not right now, but you've been yeah, playing but, it for ages. But that's the one exception. That's oh, the yeah, one exception. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm testing it. I am reviewing it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so allowed to do excuse, that. Huh? <laughs> that is my excuse. Uh, but other than that, we are. I think we are sort of approaching our um. Are we approaching our closing time? No, 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 not yet. We are. My my, my clock says uh, nineteen fifty-five. What? Is my clock out of? Your clock is way out, man. Is it? It's it's, it's nineteen forty we... right now. Well, thirty-nine, but. Oh well, it's, well, war's getting quite bad, isn't it, man? Oh man. But yeah. Oh, we, 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 <laughs> we 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 we. But basically, we need we need topics. Oh yeah, I, I've got quickly. one, but I don't know if we should uh, should say anything about it yet. The big event in the summer. Big yeah. event in the summer. You get my hint. The heck are you on about? Do you mean do you mean do you mean a certain alphabet uh, an alphabet uh, character followed by fifty two? Um, no, not that. We're doing uh, a similar thing though. Oh, a certain event where. People gather, yes. Um, yes, um, yes. You know, a tea party. Well, why can't we say anything about that? Why is that so classified? I just wanted to know if you wanted to hold it. Okay, alright, basically every battle day. Wait, are you still going to I 52? Me? Yes. Probably for a day. I'll, I'll go for a day at least. Right, well, um, the majority of us, everybody, can't actually make it to I 52 this year, being me, Tom, and uh, you. Well, I could make it, but it would be extremely expensive because of the fact that. We're too young to actually get a hotel by ourselves because we're all like 16 and 17 and you have to be 18 and ugh, it's just pain. Um, and other than that, we would have to get lifts home and back every day and it would be a really big pain for our parents and a big pain in our wallets because we have to pay for petrol. And yeah, it would just be impractical unless we could find someone to kind of get us a hotel. But even then it's expensive. It'd be about 50 quid a night, which is just, again, impractical. So until we're 18 or maybe until next year, we're not going to actually go to i52 uh not f2 just insomnia gaming festival because we don't it'll probably be i55 next year i don't know but um yeah we, we really want to go to that if you don't know what uh, insomnia gaming festival is it's a massive like a massive lan event where there's uh, tf2 competitive play uh, world of tanks halo 3 um call of duty ghost this year it will be probably next year it'll be the uh, advanced warfare uh what else is there battlefield 4 Loads of things, there'll be Titanfall, there'll be loads of cool stuff there, it's just a massive gaming event, you bring your own computer, Xbox, or whatever it is, it's just going to be awesome, but we can't go, sadly, and uh, to compensate... I can! Well, you, yeah, you're going to go for a day, aren't you? I, I, I might go for a day. I think I might go for a day too, just because I want to see it, but then I'm just going to cry. Just experience it. Yeah. I'm going to cry because I couldn't do the whole thing, but um, to compensate for that, we're going to have a, what I'm calling an RTFM 52. 
uh, where we have a four day, 24 hour, four days live stream event on Twitch where we are constantly entertaining the stream. So when two of us are awake, two of us are sleeping kind of thing, but only, uh, but there'll be a point of the day where all four of us are awake and stuff. But it's gonna be a 24 hour live stream thing where we constantly just playing video games and chilling and keep the stream on eating yeah. and drinking monster and eating KFC and Domino's pizza and stuff and it's gonna be really fun and really awesome and you're all gonna love it and yeah yeah that's all I've got to say but be, there, 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 there'll be a lot of games played there so let's put oh yeah we're gonna have to um, but put it this way yeah Kieran the way I'm the way I'm thinking of it is like we were gonna spend 112 quid to go to uh, our, um, I-52 just to get just to get into the convention then we would have to pay yeah. 100 quid for uh, transport or accommodation so if we just put 100 quid aside to buy some games for this well we wouldn't even need that much like 50 um max Bear in mind, we have a lot of man, ga lang man games we have a lot of games, games already but um there's one game that i wanted to play that we could play for a while well there's one there's, there's two games that uh, me tom and ewan wanted to play uh titanfall and maybe wildstar Wildstar would be great. An 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 MMO uh, LAN. No, it, I don't know. It's it's not it's not necessarily just a LAN as in like playing just LAN games. I mean games together as a group, basically. Like we, we should even, all be. We in might the same even do game. like split screen Xbox just for all those play some like. Uh, well, why not? Yeah, we, we're gonna definitely. I swear to God, if you say COD, Outlast. I will rage. Huh? COD. Well, we could play some well, said, uh, split screen card. That would be funny because Tom and Tom's so bad. Uh, I suppose Tom is so bad. It just Tom's... for the It's not like playing it seriously. Shots games. fired. You better not hope he's listening to this stream. Oh no, he is bad. Uh... So is Ewan. Ewan is terrible. Whoa! <laughs> Haven't you seen the videos on my channel of when we did a competition? Just because their proficiency is bad. To be fair, I'm bad as well. Have you seen my video, the world's worst cop player? No. That's got two K views now. Yes, dude. actually, yes, I've seen it. Holy crap! Oh really? Would... Yeah, I didn't know that would go that like mental but um yeah so that would that would be quite funny and also we're gonna have to play our last in the dark like i mean pitch black everything other than the screen but yeah we're gonna have to do that and we'll, we'll get the connect in there so we can uh, have night vision on so we can actually see each other uh, as in like the, the the stream can see us i mean yeah but it, it's gonna be awesome. oh yeah i'll be bringing my connect cameras for the you you and bringing this gopro um by that time, I should have the Xbox One as well, so we'll be able to play some modern-ish games. I will have my two connects, so we will have, uh, uh, night the inf not infrared. Uh, actually, yeah, infrared night infrared vision. Night That's vision, what yes. we'll have on those. That'll be useful. It's going to be a really awesome kind of, uh, thing. There's going to be, like, I don't know. It's just a four-day LAN, uh, kind of live stream thing where we just play video games and have fun and get crazy on Monster and Red Bull and these fights and things. Smoke. What? Oh, you're, you're going helicopter, man. Here's where his internet dies and I cry. Uh, Kieran! Okay, guys, we've lost Kieran. I'm gonna have to just. Yeah. But yeah, what do you guys think of this whole idea? Do you, do you, do you like the idea? Do you not? I mean, if you hate it, then. No, I'm still doing it. I don't care. I'm gonna have fun. But what do you guys think of the idea? Because I don't want it to oh, be. Oh, hello, Kieran! We all good? Yeah, we're good. I just want, I just want to make sure that everyone... Um, what, what, I just want to know what everyone thinks the idea of having a uh, four-day LAN party kind of live stream. So you'll be able to watch us, and we'll always be on camera, so... You know, maybe a few nip slip, nip slips here and there, you know. It's just how it rolls. So other than that, what other topics can we discuss? Um, today, uh, we can discuss... Um, there was a topic I had, but I didn't... Uh, I, I, when, what I read up about it, I didn't read up much, and it was the um, the new Intel Pentium Anniversary Edition processor. Oh yeah, now be careful. One wrong slip and Tom will bite your head. I'm not good with talking about hardware. I'm going to quickly Google it, so if I read out anything, it's their fault, not mine. Well, I already know Geek Freak says do it. it. Yes, we're going to do it. That's how it is. It's going to be awesome, and uh, you guys can just tune in anytime. We're hoping to um, gain a few viewers from it. Maybe it would get us somewhere i don't know well, no, i'm not talking like big i'm just like it'll get us known with a we'll few have more some people. events going yeah or at least we'll have a few more regulars coming around every so often maybe they'll just like us and yeah but um oh yeah and uh basically guys usually our streams uh don't last very often uh, don't last very long and they're not very often as in like they're only on sundays but i believe it's this week i'm going to be switching out my internet for a different company that will allow me to live stream for longer 
Um, well, based, well, unlimited, I mean. Fuck uh, you, Virgin Media. Yeah, fuck you, Virgin Media. <laughs> I hate I just... you. Uh, like, they're even screwing you over right now, dude. Your internet's dying every day. Yep. To be fair, I'm mine is well. I've disconnected four times today. Really? Yep. It just keeps on disconnecting. And I'm having to not restart. Re I'm like, yeah, well, I pay seventy pounds a month for this shit. Like, I can call the police, you know. I can call the police, yes. Um, but yeah, so switching over to those, that means that we'll be able to stream a lot more often, and um, yeah, and especially now it's summer, we have a lot of free time uh, to ourselves, you know, for um, uh, streaming and things. Um, yeah. Weirdo. Oh, shut up. All right, let me quickly. Intel Pentium and In other news, we finished our college course. Yes, we did. That was um, that was eventful. Well, some of us. Some some of, of half us. of us. <laughs> half of us. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Now I've got both. I've got both. Oh god, there's a lot of reading to do. Okay. Um. Intel Pentium G3 258 Anniversary Edition. Okay, let me sum, let me let, let me sum up the new Anniversary Edition Pentium. It's essentially an Intel Pentium with Haswell technology, which is and it's also unlocked, so you can overclock it. 6.8 so, gigahertz, overclock to 6.8 gigahertz. Um, no, Dennis. No, 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 no. I will show it on stream right now. Um, no, it has you're been. not getting a pen. Yeah, it has been, but you're not getting one overclocked to that much by stock. No, no, no. I mean, it's just it has been overclocked to that. Ooh, you're getting lippy again. Huh? You're getting lippy again with you're me. you with me. I know my tech. You don't, right? No, no, you're no. I will show it on multiplayer. screen. It's been, it's happened. Look, 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 look. Look on. Oh, well, you won't be able to see it on the screen for like another 30 seconds, but. Um. I'm looking, mate. I don't see anything. Oh, shut up, mate. Nice overclock, mate. That is a good overclock, actually. 6.8 gigahertz, holy crap. Let's take a look. Intel Pentium Anniversary Edition. Available mid-year 2014. Unlocked Haswell architecture. Features Intel Quick Sync video. And it's support supported by both Intel 8 and Intel 9 series chipsets. And it's to celebrate over 20 years of the Pentium brand. Everyone knows the Intel Pentium. Everybody knows it. Everybody. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you don't even have a computer. You know it. <laughs> you know it! Uh, yeah. The budget gaming PC potential of that chip make me moist. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, okay, the overclocks. Um, D for Dog, a well-known overclocker from China, recently managed to push the Pentium G5258 with only one active core, um, though to 6,861 megahertz using liquid nitrogen cooling. Get roped, Kieran. Get roped. I didn't say that wasn't possible. I said you're not going to get that out of the box. No, of course not. <laughs> but I said it has been done. Uh, yeah. Well, that's, that's that. You're just jelly of Agree my American monster. Agree agreeing with Tom's point on this, and by Tom I mean Lava Extract. The gaming, the budget gaming PC potential of this is going to be interesting because that is new technology. That is new processor technology. That's Haswell architecture. So the same architecture, but of uh, an Intel i5 or an i3, for instance, but in a different brand and in a slower chip. So we're talking about new technology. Downscaled here, so cheaper. So that's still going to be good for budget gaming PCs, in my opinion. Yes. I'm very tempted. It's only dual core though, oh. but it's still good. Yeah, well, to be honest, not a lot of games use more than one core. At least the games that I play. Especially. The games that I play, I, Actually, I'd be lucky if they utilize all four. I have a good question. Does Wildstar use more than one core? Because I know WoW doesn't, but does Wildstar? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, you're going, uh, you're going helicopter. You're going robot on me. No! Oh no, we've lost Kieran. Alright, let me have a look. Let's see how many uh, cores... How many cores does Wildstar use? Ah, oh, someone's already asked it, yay. It came up with a flick flipping class. Um, question about CPU core usage in Wildstar. Here we go. I am, I am tired. For games that use more than one core, would an 8-core AMD be a quad-core Intel? As in, you know that really awesome 8-core uh, that you showed me the other day from AMD versus mine? No, 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 no. You see, the AMD processors don't more look cores. I don't know, I don't know. I don't, I'm just not good with hardware, like I say. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Dance, I'm can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Basically, AMD, no matter how many cores you slap into ooh, an ooh. AMD... 
Wait, 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 wait. Uh, benchmarks say the Pentium in, uh, on, wait, benchmarks say on some single cores, uh, tests it's on par with an i7 4770K. Damn. Bat. PH. PH. But to answer your question, Dennis, um, basically, <laughs> an AMD FX8350, which is an 8-core um, AMD processor, that does not stand up to an i5 at all. Mm, right. However, however, if the game utilizes all four cores or all eight cores, it may well beat an i5. But at the moment, single core performance, the i5 takes a, to quote Laval, a shit on the 8350. I think. Wait. I think the yeah, uh, the Wildstar actually might use more than one core. Oh yeah. I'm reading forums and this guy, this guy was like, "Hey guys, do I get a dual core or a quad core for Wildstone?" This guy was like, "Quad." And stuff like that, quad, quad, quad. Yeah, but people say that because quad, you know, new technology. Just, just yeah, but I'm trying to find out and I can't. Oh look, Wildstar having problems with AMD. Like, woo! well, <laughs> you would have. I hate AMD with passion. Their processors are great for their price, but their graphics cards are lacking. Lacking with a capital L. Well, their, their graphics cards are flipping powerful and they're amazing and they run everything I want to play great other than what like watchdogs, but observe canines Who? Other than, other, other than watchdogs it runs everything I want perfectly. It's just ugh, Nvidia win for me Why the do Nvidia are, win? The drivers Go on, are great. give me valid reasons. Don't pull a Sam on me. Oh, they have a green you... logo. They're better. Oh, yeah, 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 because you know there's an N in the Logo, I don't know. Um, because, 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 because their graphics cards look physically look better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many LEDs have you slapped on them? Hmm? Um, well, How many? You, do you Google the them? And you think, logo, oh, I'm gonna Photoshop some LEDs on this. The GeForce oh, logo so is illuminated and it changes color depending on either load or um, temperature. So that's pretty cool. That's on the uh, later models, so like the 780, 770 plus, I think. Um, but yeah, yeah. Being in all seriousness, though, the um, Drivers are better, you get other thing, perks like GeForce experience, you also get um, Shadow Play, which is extremely useful for people like me. Um, and me! I, I also... You have bad processors, but good graphics cards. Yes, and uh, it will also help me when it comes to uh, rendering with Sony Vegas, because Nvidia cards are capable of GPU rendering. AMD aren't. You know, I have all this processing power on my GPU, and I can't use it. Laval Extract has a question. Have you guys seen that, that new AMD... There, there. Have you guys seen that AMD are releasing a new FX CPU with a liquid cooler? What do you guys think it could be? A shitty 9590 with an AIO cooler, or something actually decent like a Steamroller FX? And I'm going to answer this question first, Laval, and I'm going to say I think it's a rebranded 9590. That's what I think. I think that's what they've done. I don't think they're going to bring out any flashy new technologies for that. I just think it's a solution for, pe for people like Linus. Or maybe for people who are new to the water cooling... Uh, uh, technology to sort of get into that kind of cooling method and want uh, it's a marketing ploy Tom <laughs> that's what I think it is it's just a rebranded 9590 with an all-in-one solution that's all I think you can hear me right Dennis yes I can my friend okay good I told you. but yeah that's what I think it is you can speak now Dennis um, can you eat it um, yeah. can you eat it uh... <laughs> I'm joking I'm joking uh, I don't know. I don't know. It sounds cool. I like. Wait. So it comes with, like a CPU. Actually, let me Google it. Just comes with it. Let me Google it. Can you eat a? <laughs> you probably <laughs> can. You just. Hey, I'm not stopping you. You try. <laughs> uh, I put a little thermal paste on top to add the sweetness, you know. But I think the 9590 with an all-in-one solution is the best bet because I don't think they're going to bring out uh, something like that with new technology. Lol, uh, if someone is buying yeah. a mindful, I get to be cool. But yeah, probably. Is. Well, you never know. They might. People don't know all that much about an AMD. They might go, "Oh, it's got it's got higher numbers. It's not an 8350. It's an it's a 9590. I should get it because it's new and it's newer technology." You know Big me, numbers. basically, when I was younger. It's like going. Like and a, um, what is it? The it's GZ got more well, gigahertz, guys. But yeah, uh. um, <laughs> it's gonna be a 9590 with an all-in-one solution. And they're going to make it look all flashy, and they're going to promote it for Battlefield 5 with the Season Pass oh, DLC. Of course, of course, of course. What? Battlefield and AMD. Yeah, They may exactly. as well just, like, get married. 
Christ. But the thing is, but the thing is, NVIDIA still run well. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah, but AMD, they're like... Oh, you know the whole Battlefield battlefield and... Um, the whole Battlefield and AMD pairing is mainly focused on their processors, I think. And Mantle. Oh, well, Mantle works amazingly with it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm more about on about the fact that Battlefield utilises all the cores. But I can't use it. Oh, hey guys, Dennis here. I love Mantle, but I, I don't even know what it is. What is that, some kind of food blender? Uh, actually, it could be. I don't know. Maybe I'll make one and call it Mantle. <laughs> there was actually Runs on new a, ADM um, technology. There was actually a... Uh, I think it was a... I, I, I can't remember, actually. Wait, no. I'm not, no, 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 no. Never mind. It's something different. Go on. Say it. Oh, I, I got confused with the two words, Molten and Mantle. Will you just say it? And uh, there was a old WoW private server called Molten, but I thought it was Mantle. Oh, Molten WoW, well, yes, yes, the private server, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Mantle, Mantle WoW. I got confused, yes, the two <laughs> words, yeah. <laughs> Mantle That's great. And Molten, uh. But yeah, to close that topic, Tom, I think it's the the AMD, uh, what's it actually called, by the way, the all-in-one solution? Um, I'm going to Google that, actually. I have no idea. What were we talking about before that? The... Sorry. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, it is the... I don't even remember what it is. Damn it! Lava oh, will yes. help us. What's it called? Star, how many cores does it use? I don't oh, know. probably four. It's probably going to be four for the new technology uh, see, uh, game. That's very cool. Although... If you've got, if bear in mind, if you no name yet, well, that's, that's probably why I can't find it. But yeah, I think it's to close the topic, Tom. I think it's going to be a nine five ninety. Just to let you guys know, if you don't know what a nine five ninety is, the AMD FX nine five ninety is essentially an overclocked eight three fifty. It's not a different processor. It's literally exactly the same as an AMD FX eight three fifty. They've just given it a different number and made it a bit more powerful, and then rebranded it. That's it. Hmm. That's kind of a gimmicky thing, to be honest, but but yeah, I think to close it, it will be a 9590 with an all-in-one cooling solution for liquid cooling. That's what I think. Yeah. Because that's AMD. Cool. They like to rebrand their stuff. I, I haven't seen any new technologies from them. I want to see uh, the new uh, the new bulldozer no architecture, the new it's PAR driver. Or... No, yeah. I, I want to see some new technologies, AMD. Come on, bring it out. Stop, stop throwing crap at me that's just got a different name. Come on. <laughs> Wait. Okay, now we're, what? Syndicate what? used to play well. Don't you dare! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But so, uh, have we approached our deadline yet? We're 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 at eight o'clock now. Yeah, I think we're gonna like, like this show hasn't been like amazing today, guys. It this this entire show has been improvised. Yeah, it's been extremely improvised. We are re we re we apologize. Like insanely. I don't. I do. I don't. I do. I can talk for hours, bitch. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> well, I would, but then then people wouldn't watch because you know. Okay. Alright. Well. But yeah, uh, we we apologize about the spontaneousness and the whole yeah. the whole we haven't got topics bullshit, but um, uh, we are lacking two ARTFM cast members yes. because they are currently busy jacking off or doing their work. Yes, and we're trying to get them to bloody. We're trying to get them to bloody like. Just get onto the show, and we're hoping that they actually have um, been productive with their time that we've given them today. I mean, they've only just mm. had 35 hours in the last week at college to do all the work, but they can't do it in that time. Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. But, you know, uh, they guess they need more time. But, um, thank you for watching today's stream. Uh, Geek Freak says it isn't that bad. Well, I guess. Thank you for. Uh, yeah, thank you, you for better. Your, thank you for your sympathy. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Um but yes, thank you anyways. Um thank you for watching. It's been a different kind of show. We've improvised a lot, as we've said. It's just it will be better soon once we've um, got a bit more uh planning time and we've got like the full team with us because without when we miss a team member, we miss essentially half an hour of the show, if you get me. We, we Each lose. member has a, spe has a special time slot. We we we, so. we have like a it's not really a time something we we have uh, like if there's less of us that means more topics to fill up the time frame and it's uh, difficult to remember everything that you're trying to think especially since if you're busy during a week you've only got Saturday to kind of learn all your things. But yeah. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching today's show. It's been okay. I'm not gonna say all this crap again. I'm, I'm repeating. Um, but yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching and I will we will, well we will see you next week. Hopefully with four of us. Adios. 
See you. You're gonna make a funny noise or something. I'm just wondering. What. Well, <laughs> right. See y'all later. See you.